All right, you guys, I know you've been worried and wondering in the comments on the reveal video of the Super Trofeo Evo 2 race car. What is the fate of the street Evo car that I just built? I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. But in the meantime, we need to address some of the problems we still have with this car. I can't exactly just take it out and run it at the moment. And there's a very important reason why. I'm still missing one of the most important things to actually getting this car out and driving it. And that happens to be the wheel socket. I have no way of removing these wheels. If I got a flat or a blowout or some sort of issue with the wheel or the brakes or suspension, we have no way of actually taking any of the wheels off of this car, which is a huge problem. So the only spare stuff I got with this are these wheels and these obviously used, very used, slicks. Now, I know nothing about race cars. I'm a complete idiot when it comes to this department. Mark can back me up on that. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. And these tires, I'm not sure if these have any life still left in them, but they have definitely been ran on the track because they are severely melted. Oh, that one I didn't even notice is actually like de-beaded or flat. It's got a bit of a dent in it. Yeah. What I would like to do is get the ability to first of all, remove the wheels that are on the car, potentially get some new tires so that I can then safely drive it. And number two is I'm not a huge fan of obviously black wheels because that's pretty generic. I've never seen a Super Trofeo car ever have another color of wheel. So since we have two sets of wheels, step one would be finding out, are there any issues with using these wheels? Are there any cracks, damage, warping, bent, anything like that? Because if they're good, I think I could probably ask a friend for a favor. We could change the color of the wheels to something much wilder. Well guys, and then there's the issue of the seat. I just don't fit in this seat. I could lose all the weight I want, but my hips are my hips. My hips are actually jammed into this. So if I really want to spend some seat time in here to really get the feel of the car and obviously learn all the crazy stunts that I want to do, I need something a little more comfortable. So let's add a bigger seat to the list of things we need to find for this car. On to the next issue. So check this out. Now, we have no idea how much fuel's in this car. We keep turning it on and driving it a little bit. Could run out of gas at any moment, really. What gas does it use? Because race car, because race gas. Oh, that makes sense. So, there's a special jug to fill up the fuel. We're gonna have to go ahead and grab one of those. Probably the easiest thing to find for this car will be that one item, because I think Mike actually has a couple over at his garage for his race car. So that kind of rounds out some of the basic things we need to get in order to even take this car out. To hear this V10, beautifully tuned, with race headers, straight pipe. <laughs> And we want to hear it at like 9,000 RPM. Uh, we got to get this thing on the track. Even hearing this car, like I heard you drive the SVJ just this morning and it's like, it sounds different than this car. Oh, this car is unrefined, completely unrefined. The headers, the, the exhaust, everything is just get this air out of here. Yeah. So it sounds completely different. Wheel sockets, figuring out just some tires and things and obviously something to put fuel in this bad boy. Now we should be good to go. Now that all sounds simpler than it is. And we're going to have to start with our friends over at our local Lamborghini. Shop. All right, now that I got a race car, always got to make sure I got my helmet with me. Let's go get that update on the Super Trofeo Street Evo car over at Protective Film Solutions. My favorite car. I own a race car now. I gotta drive everywhere with a helmet on. Safety first. Before we get to this car and showing you this, cause I'm really excited about this. Check this out. Did you notice it has all the little pieces of this car? Now I do have to get the windshield banner back on, but it has all the little matching pieces of the car based on its location on the car, which I love. Like the door. Now on the back, we did something a little special. Because Lamborghini, we had to have the Lambo logo on there. I'm not saying it is or isn't gonna get me a cease and desist, but it's quite possible. Okay. Update on the street Evo build. What's going on? I know some of you were really concerned that maybe because now that I have the race car, maybe I was going to sell this and it wasn't going to stick around. Let me explain. I think you're going to like what I have to say. Okay, guys, quick interruption to thank our sponsor, ShipStation. Now, that was the easy part. I put my product in the box and now it has to get to the customer. ShipStation makes it really, really easy to do that. In a landscape where free and fast shipping is the norm, it's harder for small e-com businesses to compete. ShipStation has your back. When you use ShipStation, you lower your costs, make returns easy, and keep your customers happy, which customers the most important part. That one's damaged, and with all the time, you'll save by automating shipping tasks. You'll have extra time to 
to take care of your customers and apologize for damaged products you did on purpose. ShipStation ethically integrates with websites you're already using. Shopify, Etsy, eBay, and more. Manage every single order from one simple dashboard. Automate routine shipping tasks. Print ship labels, save yourself money. Pass those savings to your customers, or save them for yourself. <laughs> they even added automated delivery notifications, making your life just a little bit easier. How's that box? Actually, I should have thrown that my bad. This is a stupid thing. Now, normally the discounts are saved for the big companies, but thankfully, ShipStation is that big company working on your behalf and got some amazing rates, up to 84% off USPS and UPS. That's some big savings. Over 130,000 companies have grown their business thanks to ShipStation. And did you know that 98% of people that try it for one year become customers for life? It's a life sentence with ShipStation. Keep your business growing all year long with ShipStation. Just for you guys, because I love each and every one of you, I'm gonna give you a 60-day free trial. All you have to do is go to ShipStation.com slash DDE. That's ShipStation.com slash DDE. Go there, tell them Dave sent you. There's nowhere to add that in the comment section. <laughs> This build was designed to be my street car. The reliable race car look on a street chassis with all the creature comforts, if you will, of what a street car has. You guys can tell already just by simply looking at the interior of this car versus the interior of the race car, it's very, very different. Underneath, this has a DCT transmission, dual clutch, which makes the shifting engagement and drivability on the road quite nice, which is the purpose of it. The race car would be a nightmare to drive on the street and it's just not legal. So. To have the best of both worlds, if you wanna know what I will be doing, I will be keeping both cars. Plus, when we build the Evo 2 race car back at the shop to be that Jim Conna car, it's gonna take a few months of obviously development and engineering. And in the meantime, I'll be able to drive this on rallies and come and meet you guys and go to car shows. So that was really the intent of this car while also getting the race car to build my dream Jim Conna car. All right, now the boys are working on the tribute livery to Ken. I'll give you a little tease. It's black for the base, duh. Obviously, Ken liked his cars to look tough and that he had that satin or matte black base and then he did like a glossy design over top of that and then over top of all of that, there was obviously like the sponsors and the very race car inspired livery. That's basically what we're going for. There's no real mystery to it. However, we went to great lengths to make sure that this was an accurate tribute to the man, the myth, the legend and in order to do that, we actually got the opportunity through our friends at Hoonigan to reach out to Ken's personal livery designer. His name's Marcus and he lives in Park City, Utah. We've been talking through email to get to the design phase and have something that looks very, very similar to both the Huna truck and the Huna corn. We've added our own little touches to this livery so that it's not a complete rip off of any of the cars Ken had designed. A truly one of one KB inspired tribute to go on the Super Trofeo Eva. Now with that said, I painted this car satin black so that it would be easier for the boys to Wrap. However, satin black is not the base color for any of Ken's cars. It happens to be a very specific matte black. And you can quite easily see the difference here between the shininess of the satin black I had painted and the matte black fender the boys have now wrapped here, as well as the door, the roof, the A-pillars, and they will work their way down the rest of the car. So the entire car, as funny as it sounds, needs to be wrapped black over black. And that's gonna create the base look we need to then lay the graphics over over top in the contrasting high gloss black, which gives it that very ghost tough mean look that Ken loves. All right, let's leave the boys at PFS to continue working, applying that deep matte black 3M base color. Then they'll do the gloss black pattern. And there's always an accent color. I don't wanna see what the accent color is, but I'm really excited about it. It's a specific color to a very specific one of his cars that is actually close to my heart for a reason. I'll tell that story later, because if I told it now, you guys would all catch on, give away what livery we're basically trying to recreate in our own way from one of Ken's cars. In the meantime, I just got a text message off camera that we could go and take the race car wheels, get the tires off, and I can get the race car wheels recolored See? by our friends at AL13. No way. So what color should we go? We have white wheels on this car. That's true. What color should we go on the Silver. race car? Silver? Silver maybe? I don't know. God, you're so boring. Silver? A what green? Do you do? Mark? Blue? Orange? What do you want to do? We could do blue or orange. What color would you guys do? Carbon fiber race car, very similar to this. Bright colored wheels, black, bronze. They're already black, that'd be boring. Bronze, personally. Bronze, that'd be pretty sweet. Be clean. Thank you, you guys, I appreciate you. Next time you guys see this car, it's gonna look very, very different.
a bit of a hurry because the tire shop closes at six and they told me to be there no later than five. It's 19 minutes to get from here to said tire shop and it is 10 to five. We gotta hurry. All right, let's get these old slicks off and get some better color for the wheels. Oh, 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 look at you. Don't even go near that car with that. Let's see the skills, let's see the skills. <laughs> Perfect. That's so breaking something. <laughs> I like how as soon as I said, hey, we're changing the color, Mark doesn't give two <laughs> on my race car wheels anymore. <laughs> They're getting fixed, it's, it's fine. Cool. Chuck it. Come on, man. If I have to brake hard, which the odds in this van are good. <laughs> Huge trend right now. White wheels, even on your trailer. Those are sick, my man. Woo! Let's go! My tricks to just let them go across the parking lot on their own. That's pretty easy. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anytime, anytime. You're here all do. week, you're here all week. We well, huge shout out to New Century Tire here on Beach Boulevard. I found a little nick right there. Sum that up as you, because race car. Mission accomplished. Good, here we go. All right, thanks. I guess you go, go settle out the bill. All right, I got you. It's coming out of your salary today, Mark. Well, that was super awesome. Again, I can't thank these guys enough from New Century Tire here on Beach Avenue. It's actually Beach Boulevard, but I've renamed it to Beach Avenue. <laughs> it's a hard time finding this place. That could be why. Ah. Ah, aggresso. Whoa, what? It's got Lamborghini. I forgot that he said that on here. That's actually really funny. Okay, Eric, you preface. Said I'm a you go. But the wheels have enough dings. We don't need to make any more. Just drive normal. Just drive. Just David. Just drive normal. Oops. Oh my God! Check that out. Whoa! Dude. Popped a wheel out of that tire over the there. It landed straight up. I don't know what it to landed say. straight up in between the other two rims and tires. From there to there when we hit that bump. It was on purpose because race fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different day. So we're gonna get these repowder coated AL13 to the rescue. Don't mind me, I haven't had my coffee this morning yet. I have these bad boys, so they're pretty beat up yeah. and they're black and boring. Yeah. Because race car. I just yeah, sum it up exactly. to because race car. What do you recommend? We basically what repowder the face and the inside of the barrel and we just leave this right this is most likely a liquid paint so we probably have to strip it first and then we'll prep it during prepping is where we'll actually like fix any nicks marks you know whatever we can essentially okay. and then final powder go boom we're not gonna tell them the color yet okay deal i know the color you know you do <laughs> i hope so come back i got purple wheels for the race car hey these actually probably look pretty cool to be honest okay here i'll give you Please come and check out the race car. Yes. Come to the you need HQ. To give me a ride, dude. Yes, yeah. I will. Before we strip it apart. There you go. Because then we're going to tear that thing down, engineering custom one off parts to make all the new stuff fit in it. It's going to be a lot of work. You have to go for a ride before and then a ride after. after. I promise you the ride after will be way crazier. Sure. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. AL13. Much love. For the win, much love for sure. We have some more projects coming. I already talked to Dave. Oh, you did talk to Dave. <laughs> Your boy's got his coffee now. I'm happy, happy. Just got off the phone with Mike Essa. Phenomenal news. Some of the parts we need to get rid of some of the other issues with the race car, those parts are already in stock. So I'm headed over to Mike's. We're gonna talk getting those in the car right away. Dude, this thing looks sick. How much better does this car look black? A lot. I can't show them yet. You love it? It doesn't look old man status. Right? Old man status, even though that's exactly who drives it. <laughs> A bunch of old men. Me, Mike, and Dave. You're the young one in the group, you lucky bastard. You and Mark. Holy crap, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Now, it's not all back together, so I can't show you guys yet. I don't really want to give it away because it's going to be so dramatically different once you do see it. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go hunt Mike down. Is he here yet? He is. He's hiding in the corner. Hold on. I gotta walk this way, walk this way, walk this way. Oh, what's up? Hey, how are you? Dude, that looks so good. It's good, right? Are you feeling better? Yeah. Just a 
touch me. Give me, give me like a three foot. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't have the vid, you guys, but he had just like a flu. Yeah, stomach flu. Yeah. yeah. Kids gave it to him. Yeah. That happens when you're a parent. Yeah. Exactly. You get everything. It comes home from school. Are we putting the headlights together? Well, Tim oh, pointed out to me that sealed. these are color matched to the car. Oh, they are? Yeah. So now I'm trying to open it up so we can get these sent out to get painted black also because it's going to look just like. I don't terrible. know. I don't know. Leave them. Let's see what happens. You want to see how it looks? Those would look absolutely terrible. You're right. It's like not silver enough for it to look okay. Yeah, I, I think agree it's with just going to stand out too much, right? They're totally OEM painted yeah. inside there. Yeah, Tim pointed out and he's like, we're going to get those painted too. And I'm like, oh, when you we do we need to. When you think about how sh Ferrari put cars together in 1999. It's kind of impressive that the little details are like painting inside the headlights. And yeah. now that you bring that to my attention, that's from that era. Yeah. Like 360s had their headlights painted inside. Yeah, exactly. I got a gift for you. What is this? So you were asking me about the fuel for yeah. the race car, right? Yeah, where's the gauge? There's no gauge. Race cars no... don't have fuel gauges. Come so on, come on. Yeah. All race cars don't have a fuel gauge? They don't have a fuel gauge. It's not, it's not reliable. So some might have a gauge in it. And as you're driving around the track, it's bouncing around everywhere. Fuel's always sloshing around. How does anybody know how much fuel they have so basically what the race teams do is after a session they'll pump all the fuel out of the car so they have a quick connect hose in the back in the fuel they take the fuel out of they the car all the fuel out they measure it and then for the next session whether it's a qualifying session a race session whatever oh, it is tim is he messing with me right now i can't tell if he's <laughs> with me he's serious so you're serious yep i'm well, sorry actually. i'm i'm used to working with dave and nothing's ever serious <laughs> so they take all the fuel out of they it pump it all out and then measure it obviously and then at top it up for to see, the top? Exactly, say if they need 12 gallons You can't gallons just fill it up race. and see when it's at the top? It's not accurate enough. So they wanna run down to the very bare minimum fuel they can get. They want it to be as light as possible. Oh yeah, yeah, wait. Some race cars will have a switch where they can change fuel mapping, fuel trim, so they can actually burn a little more fuel, make a little more power, or if they're running low on fuel, if they're- Eco mode? Yeah, if there's a yellow flag or something going on and they're like, okay, we could turn the map down, we could save a little fuel, we can push our pit stop one to two more laps further into the race, Oh my God, I would have never thought of that. Like for so, real, this is kind of like blowing my mind. I hope it's blowing your guys' mind. The thing about racing and when, you know, sometimes people say, oh, your Lamborghini, it's like a race car for the street. It's nothing like a race car for the street. Race cars are race cars. Yeah. Street cars are street cars. Holy yeah. shit. So what is this? So this is the quick fill jug. So it fits in to the You got the two opening. jugs so I can say nice jugs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, smash the subscribe right, button. See you later. I'm out of here. <laughs> That's funny how we got all the way through that and never noticed. Yeah, and Tim was like, hey. <laughs> Tim. Good eye, Tim. <laughs> you still have a job, buddy. <laughs> That's what it takes, not much around here. <laughs>